Oklahoma County deputies got a wanted man in custody after he led them on a chase through the metro. During this chase, the suspect hit another car with a woman and a child inside. KSU's Jason Berger joining us live now. And Jason, you're where this chase ended this afternoon. Yeah, guys, that's right. That suspect crashed out right here on the side of MLK. We're just south of Northeast 36th. I'm told the suspect got up around 100 miles an hour. Suspect jumped into his vehicle and sped off. The pursuit started at I-35 in Hefner at approximately 2.35 p.m. Sheriff Johnson says his deputies were serving a warrant Thursday, an assault and battery warrant for strangulation. And that's when 35-year-old Charles Coulter got in his car and took off. People are getting off of work. Schools are getting out. How dangerous is that? We're told Coulter got up to 100 miles an hour in his vehicle and at times even drove into oncoming traffic. We're told he hit another driver in the process. That driver had a five-year-old in the car, but both of them are not hurt. When the suspect rear ended a truck right here at 36 and Martin Luther King, traveled down the road a few hundred feet where he ultimately crashed out the vehicle. Sky 5 was over the scene once the suspect stopped. The sheriff says they considered calling off the pursuit, but Coulter's violent history was part of the decision to chase him. We certainly take into consideration, number one, what are the, what are the crimes that we're uh, trying to apprehend this individual for? And we're told the suspect did not give up easily. We took this person in custody. They kicked out uh, the window of one of our, uh, on one of our vehicles, on one of our Tahoes that we have. Now, Coulter was taken into custody right after he crashed his vehicle. The good news, there were no major injuries. In Oklahoma City, Jason Berger, KOCO 5 News. Guys.